If you've never come across the concept of a kill switch before, in computing terms it's used to describe a button or command that will immediately shut down or disable an application, or sometimes even the whole computer. On macOS we can use the Shortcuts app to create a kill switch that will shut down all or any applications we currently have running, and then we can assign the kill switch a simple keyboard shortcut to quickly activate it. If you'd rather hide your applications from the screen rather than shut them down, then I'll show you how you can do that too. And it all starts by opening up the Shortcuts app. Click on the plus button or press Command and N to create a new shortcut. In the shortcut box on the right hand side of the editor, type Quit to locate the Quit Application action. Double click or drag the action to the editor on the left of the window. Here you can choose whether you wish to have your kill switch close all the applications you have open or just individual applications. Annoyingly you can't select multiple applications at once, so if you do opt to choose a specific group of apps, you'll need to duplicate the action and choose each app individually. For this demonstration however, we're going to shut down all applications, so I'll leave my action set to all. I will however need to exclude Camtasia, my screen recording app, otherwise when I demonstrate the kill switch it'll stop the recording and you won't be able to see what happens next. But if you're following along at home don't worry about this, you don't need to exclude anything. Ok, the next step is to assign our keyboard shortcut to activate the kill switch, and to do this click on the information icon on the right and choose add keyboard shortcut. Now you need to choose a keyboard combination that isn't already in use, so you can't for example use Command and Q, which is already used by macOS, to close individual apps. My preferred combination is Command, Control and X, and you just need to press these keys simultaneously to assign them to your shortcut. Having done this you are pretty much ready to go. You can rename your shortcut by just clicking on the title, and I'll call mine Kill Switch. It's also worth mentioning that you can activate your shortcut from the menu bar by enabling this option. Or you can run it from the dock by clicking on the file menu and choosing add to dock. All your changes are saved automatically and you should see your new shortcut added to your list. If you're geeky like me you can right click to change the colour of the shortcut and its icon. Alright, all that is left to do now is test that it works, so I'll leave the Shortcuts app open and add a few more apps to my screen. Now when I press Command, Control and X, all my apps should close automatically, and there we are. Now you may have noticed a slight delay in closing some of the apps, and if you're in an app that requires you to save your changes, such as when writing a document in Pages or Microsoft Word, you will receive a prompt before the app can quit. To avoid this, rather than closing the apps, you might prefer to just hide them by minimising everything to the dock. The setup for hiding apps is exactly the same as closing them, except this time rather than searching for quit, we want to search for hide. Like with our kill switch, we can add a new key combination to activate our shortcut. So now when you have lots of apps open on screen, you can choose between closing them all and hiding them all using your different shortcut key combinations. So that is how to create a kill switch on Mac OS. If you found the video useful I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in a completely legitimate way of getting Microsoft Word for free and an easy way to start using ChatGPT on your Mac. Until next time, my name is Anthony, thank you very much for watching.